维拉政府保持冷静克制，全力维护国内的和平稳定，有效避免发生大规模的流血冲突。如果强行向委内瑞拉运送所谓的人道主义援助物资，一旦引发暴力冲突，将会产生严重后果。这是各方都不愿意看到。中方反对对委内瑞拉进行军事干预，反对任何导致委内瑞拉局势紧张，甚至引发动乱的行为。China reveals shocking response to Venezuelan crisis, warning U.S. not to intervene. China has praised the Venezuelan government's response to their mounting political crisis and joined Russia in warning the U.S. not to get involved, according to sources. China has previously loaned billions of pounds to Venezuela and has remained committed to the country's president Nicolas Maduro despite the country's deepening economic crisis and Juan Guaido's declaration as interim president. China's foreign ministry spokesman Zheng Shang commented on the Venezuelan government's calmness and restraint in trying to avoid conflict, according to Newsweek. He said, "We have noticed that in recent times, the Venezuelan government has maintained calmness and restraint and has spared no effort to maintain domestic peace and stability and to effectively avoid large-scale bloody conflicts." China also blamed the U.S. for intervening in Venezuela, saying it could trigger a conflict. Mr. Xuang said, "If the so-called humanitarian aid supplies are forcibly delivered to Venezuela and then a violent conflict is triggered, it will have serious consequences, which no parties want to see." China opposes military intervention in Venezuela and opposes any behavior that has led to tensions in Venezuela or even caused unrest. Foreign aid sent from the U.S. has been left at the country's borders as Maduro's government refuses to let it pass the border, calling it a foreign plot. President Donald Trump has repeatedly said all options, including military action, are on the table. Maduro has been accused of mishandling the country's failing economy, perpetrating human rights abuses, and rigging elections. In December. Russia sent nuclear bombers to Venezuela for training to support the country, and has also warned the U.S. to stay away from Venezuela. Moscow has also chosen to remain ambiguous on whether it would offer military. Gun, call Allah Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, the GMS, the real well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful. Let GMS stop and listen. I was just looking at this um, feed where. Basically, China has an interest in in Venezuela, and they have been aiding them. And the U.S. they telling the U.S. to back off, don't don't mess with Venezuela. And they have been warned by Russia also. So you know, China and Russia have a a, a tie or a a, a diplomatic uh, basically friendship. So when the end in the end when when America is destroyed, it will be they will be on the same team. They will be part of that coalition when you look in uh, Revelations the seventeenth chapter, man. You know, and they're gonna hate the whore. They're part of that. They're gonna be a part of that coalition also. You know, but Asher, uh, 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 Venezuela or Asher. So these are Israelites. You see how so many people were in, in, in basically where their square, their government square. It was so many people, man. Because things are are, are at, at unrest down there in Venezuela, man. They they are having hunger, no money, no jobs, and it's part of the curses, man. Because they are uh, Israelites, man. They are Israelites. This is um, Deuteronomy twenty eight and. Deuteronomy 28, 64. And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And these Venezuelans are actually in the uh, South American region. They come from Israel also, man. Tribe of Asher. But they were scattered also. You know, they were scattered to uh, this, to, to uh, basically uh, out of Israel to uh, 
parts of different parts of Babylon under the Assyrian Empire. And then they took counsel and left and came to the Americas, the Arsherah, the unknown land. Then they was came Columbus come over and scattered a lot of the northern tribes back to Spain and Portugal, up in the Wales and Europe. And, and some were they are where they at. So they are Israelites. So these curses are gonna fall on them. They're catching hell down there, just like Jacob catching hell up here in America. You know, Israelites are not going to escape the curses until Yahweh Shai comes back and redeem the elect and, and the new government is set up under a new kingdom. It says, and the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth unto the other, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither nor thy fathers have known neither wood or stone. Your ancient fathers didn't serve these wood and stone gods, man. They didn't serve Islam. They didn't serve this Christianity. They didn't worship Jose Christos, man. They didn't worship uh, the Santa Maria and, 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 and Michael, the archangel. They don't worship. They didn't worship these uh, uh, images, man. But that's what, that's what Asher, that's what they worship. So, hey, the Lord is bringing judgment all over the earth, man. You know, when you read in uh, Chronicles, one of the Chronicles, I think, I think it's, uh, is it the first Chronicle? Let's see if I can read that. Get that. I think it might be scene 14. Is it at it? Come. It says, he is the, the Lord, Yahweh, our power. The judgments are in all the earth. His judgments are in all the earth, man. So Jake is catching hell. Israelites are catching hell down there in, in Venezuela, man. It says back in 28 and 65, and among these nations, thou shalt find no ease, neither shall thy soul of thy foot have rest, but the Lord Yahweh shall give thee a trembling heart and failing eyes and sorrow of mind. And that's what he's doing to these people, man. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night and shall have no assurance of life, man. These people don't have no assurance of life because you got to remember this a while back. They, they didn't even have food down there, man. The situation was bad, man. It was down there uh, uh, taking out each other, man. It was no assurance of life at that time, man. Terry support, but confirmed last week that a request from the country had not been made. Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova claimed the U.S. were considering buying weapons in one of the Eastern European countries for the Venezuelan opposition. She said, this is what they mean when they talk about delivering humanitarian aid. She also suggested that the weapons could be delivered via a neighboring country. Maduro has begun sealing Venezuela's borders, including the one it shares with far-right U.S. ally Brazil in response to the country's relationship with Russia. He has already shut the border with Curacao, Aruba, and Bonaire. Donald Trump con Venezuela, no te metas. Ham of Venezuela. Donald Trump, hands of Venezuela. See? Hands off Venezuela. Hands off Venezuela. Now this, when he said that, this, your hands off, should be off Venezuela because of this. It says, for it does say the Lord Yahweh of hosts, after the glory have he sent me unto the nations which spoil you. For ye have touched the apple of his eye, man. You already touched the apple of his eye. We're putting your hand on the, uh, the Negroes, the Latinos, and Native Americans, bringing them into slavery, and they haven't stopped. Venezuela, a part of the tribe too, and look at what the what they're trying to do to Venezuela, man. Because you know Venezuela uh, uh, actually has a lot of oil resources down there, and they're like one of the top uh, producers, man. You know, they might not be the top exporter, but like like, like the top producer, man. And you know where you have where you have that oil is money, and where you have that interest, United States are always trying to sneak in your back door and take your resources, man. That's why they're trying to start shit with Venezuela, man, because they want in. Uh, this Habakkuk, Habakkuk two and five. 
And it says, yeah, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep it, keep it at home who enlarges his desires as hell and his, and his death, man. So it, hey, the dude saying hands off Venezuela, is it going to be hands off? No, because he wants in, man. He wants what you have, man. You have something that uh, the devil wants, man. So he's going to come in there and, and create chaos, man. Order out of chaos. He's trying to get in there, man. You know, don't be ignorant of his devices. And as death, he cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heap up of him all people, man. Hey, he, he wants in. He wants control, you know. He wants to usher in that chip in the Venezuela on a mass scale, man. You know. Let's see what else they got. If you watch state television here in Venezuela, and that's really the only way to get news here on television, you really get the sense that this is a nation on a war footing. You see disputed President Nicolas Maduro meeting with the troops, meeting with generals, sometimes even training with the troops running in the field. He has warned his people that this country could be invaded by the U.S., and he has warned Americans not to get sucked into another Vietnam. He is clearly facing the toughest challenge of his seven years in power here. He faces a charismatic opposition leader who's already been recognized by the U.S. and by much of South America. Juan Guaido is calling for demonstrations today from noon to two, a walkout. It's going to be really interesting to see how many people turn out and further demonstrations this weekend. The government is trying to squeeze him. They've frozen Guaido's bank account. They're not allowing him to leave the country, but there's been a stern warning from U.S. National Security Advisor. See, they're creating that chaos, man. They're creating chaos over there. Uh, let's see here what we got. Uh, let's see a second. There's this. Second edges of uh, 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading of one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes or course of action shall stand in their power. So they, what they're creating, man, the order out of chaos, they're creating a, a, a uh, where the people will be having anarchy in their country. You see how it looked like civil unrest was going on, it looked like a martial law state. That's what they're trying to bring in these different places, man. They're trying to bring it. It's going to eventually bring to America, man. But they, they always do uh, chaos in different countries and see how the people react to it. You know, they probably already did the studies. They probably could go in there. Uh, Venezuela, those Asher people might be not a, more aggressive than other Asher tribes. If you went into Colombia, they know, man, he saw it and done his work, man. And, you know, they do the after action review to see what more can they do to make that, that process better, to control the chaos more, because they know when they come here to America, man, it's going when you come with Jake and so-called Negro, it's going to be one hell of a fight, and they want to be ready, man, to mow you down when it's, the, the, you know, the way they've been trained, man. When they come in America, man, in time of Jacob's trouble, man, hey, they're going to want to have it right, because they want to come, want to swoop in like a flood and take you all uh, down, man, and put you in the concentration camps and urge you in, is is idle man it says a man shall desire to go in the city and it's not should be able and that's coming that's coming to america for because of their pride in their cities the tr cities shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid and that time is coming man it's coming soon to america sir john bolton he says that any harm that comes to guaido will be met with serious consequences bill back I'll to you around there steve harrigan thanks a lot the rockets venezuela so they're preparing for war man you know? woe until be babylon in asia woe to be Egypt and Syria is in America. Girt yourself with clothes of self and be and hair and be well your children. Be sorry. Right? The US it and by much sorry. of South America. 
be sorry for your destruction is at hand and the destruction of America is at hand because they're gearing themselves. A sword is sent unto you and who may turn it back when these thermonuclear destruction missiles, I mean, missiles are shot by these China and Russia and Pakistan. Who's going to turn it back, man? That's why you saw uh, with the Venezuela guy, he was getting ready. He was training with his people, man. They're getting ready to go to war, man. A fire is set among you and who may quench it? Not, not no man, man. It's the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Plagues are sent unto you, and what is it that may drive them away? And nothing, when the thermonuclear missiles are shot, nothing is going to drive them away. They will hit their target, man. You know. And with that, all praise, honor, and glory be to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Double honesty to the apostles of hell is the GFS to rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GFS stop and listen. Shalom.